couple of thoughts I want to jot down. <coughs> Twin flame activation. Since it is your soul energy and that vibration and that frequency when you come on it, it does some very strange things to you. Ultimately, it's going to shake down that ego. Uh, so you have a dark night of the soul. You have an ego spinning out of control and you feel like you're going crazy. I liken this to, uh, well, first of all, your soul is operating at a particular frequency, a particular vibration. And it's pulsing with energy and life force into the ego complex. So it can have this experience. It's actually wrapped into the ego complex in some ways. Stargate, the movie, and Stargate SG-1, some of the best things I've ever seen. I mean, so much so that I think it's actually real, to be honest with you. But they had to decipher a code at the gate. And putting in the right code gave it coordinates and a frequency that then you would walk through the gate, the event horizon, and end up at a particular destination. Well, when you meet your, your twin, your twin plane, your soul, you are literally meeting an incarnation or reincarnation of your own soul. And number one, you're going to be addicted to the energy because it's the first time on an objective level, you've been able to feel anything like that. Does the other person, the other twin feel that? Probably, to, at least to some extent. Are they going to necessarily have a Satori or, or a dark uh, night of the soul or ego death? I don't know. It depends on where they are on the, on the journey. Most of the times, they do not. Most of the times, they're not ready to awaken but they will get benefit from the experience as well. But usually there's a positive polarity where energy is flowing from and a negative polarity where energy is being received. And so usually the, the one that is more advanced along the path is going to be the positive polarity. And so we have positive flowing into negative, right? Just like we have hot heat flowing into cold. It's the same uh, physics. Remember, all of this stuff is really scientific. So, what does your, your twin force... By the way, you, you feel that twin energy before you even get into the energy. I mean, really within six feet, where you're really uh, bumping heads with, their, uh, with the auric vibrations as, uh, as well. And that in itself is powerful. But you're going you're gonna to sense their presence before you actually meet them. I knew my twin was around way before I met them. And matter of fact, before I met them, I knew that it was going to be problematic in some ways. Now, not in a bad way. I'm just like, oh, here we go. Some, some shit's about to go down. Brace yourself, Johnny boy. Brace yourself, Rocket Man. Uh, shit's about to get a little freaky here. And just intuitively, I knew that. <coughs> and then all of a sudden, I figured out where that energy was emanating from. I didn't go directly to that energy. Matter of fact, I avoided it. I didn't want to go to the energy. Because I just knew it was going to be too... I mean, you, you intuitively know it's going to be powerful. And it's going to take you down a rabbit hole. You may not necessarily want to go down. But you won't be able to resist. It is you. Incarnated or reincarnated. And because of that... What your twin flame forces you to do is tune into your own soul frequency and vice versa if they're ready for it. It depends on how their energy body is doing, how their astral body is doing. Are they on any drugs? Are they on the stress? Are they getting sleep? Are they doing some meditative work? Uh, uh, all this stuff and, and, and uh, 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 prepares you. Um, and you don't, get, you don't get to choose when you meet your twin. You don't get to, uh, uh, well, maybe you do. 
Uh, from an ego point of view, you do not. From a soul point of view, most more than likely you do. Uh, nothing that big happens by chance. So when you're tuned into that frequency, when you're tuned into that Stargate coordinate, uh, it opens up that channel and that frequency clear as day. And once the I am, our soul light being consciousness, begins to flood through, this is when we begin to have weird energy shit going on. This is where we have the addictive energy. This is where we have the obsession of thinking. This is where we have the ego spinning, 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 spinning uh, wrapped around so much that it just uh, literally condenses and dies. Now, can your ego 100% just die? No. Remember what I said, that ego complex is necessary for third dimensional existence. So it dies, but really it's being reborn. And I think this is what the whole Christian issue was. It wasn't about somebody being sacrificed on the cross. It was about death and rebirth of the uh, ego. So the ego gets uh, dies uh, in, in a way, uh, but then it's reborn. And what is it reborn as? It's reborn as a instrument that is now much more in tune with soul direction, i.e. soul intent, i.e. your purpose. So, I just wanted to get you guys to really understand the fundamental of this dialing in the frequencies and coordinates. And this is what your twin flame does. I mean, it's you. It's you. It, it's like, like, Oh, there's my twin over there. It's, no, it's you over there. It, it, it literally is mind-boggling. It's like, what the fuck is going on here? Hello? And so finally I meet my twin flame and I go through all these stages. And I, can, I, I can't tell you how motivated I was. Once a week, twice a week, three times a week, four times a week, how many times it was to see and connect to my twin because the energy was so powerful, so magnetic, and so addictive. I mean, you can't control yourself. Now, thank God for me being able to do some, having done energy work, and also being in the psychological sciences, the psychiatric sciences, <coughs> the physical and biological sciences, the medical and healing sciences, the psychotherapy science, uh, I was, you know, able to maintain some quorum of uh, decency. But uh, I'm pretty sure uh, uh, people around us, when that energy, bloom, came, came, came on, uh, yeah, they couldn't help but think that, oh, there's something going on with these two. Oh, there's something going on, okay. It's not what you think, though. Now, everybody thinks it's romantic. Everybody thinks it's sexual. Because that's how the fucking uh, average Joe Blow thinks, man. His mind can't get out of his own damn way. You know, thinking on a low end. Could you be sexual with your twin flame? Absolutely. Could you fall in love with your twin flame? Of course you can. Could you get married to your twin flame? I, uh, of course you can. Uh, you can do everything with the twin flame that you would do with anybody. But just remember that there are karmic relationships, there are soul meet relationships, and twin flame relationships completely different. Almost you have to handle a twin flame relationship while always moving up the ladder into soul consciousness. Right? Or opening up to that downpouring of manna from heaven. I am that I am. Later, y'all. Keep it real.